there welcome to another video for my simple project series um, for the holidays today I'm going to show you how to make this little book I did share this book a little bit ago um, it is a one page mini album it's made from one sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper now this is not my original design these are all over the internet um, People use them to make little mini magazines or little mini books. Um, I chose to make mine with cardstock. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to do than actually just using printer paper, but um, it can easily be done to make it a little more sturdy. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this, and you can make it with an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, or you can make it with a twelve by twelve sheet of paper. It's quite simple, quite easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, we're going to take our 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and we're going to fold it in half. Um, it's, it is pretty important that you make sure your folds are pretty exact. It will help your book go together much easier. I suggest using a bone folder or some sort of tool, something you can run along the edge to make sure that you get a nice tight crease okay after you fold it in half you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it in half the long way okay and after you've done that and you made sure that you have a nice tight crease there you're going to open it up and then you're going to bring this piece into the center and I just like to close it to make sure it matches up a little bit easier then I'm going to crease it really well then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to bring this piece into the center okay Again, it's very important, it, and it will help your book come together easier if you make sure that your folds are very exact. Okay? And then the last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it up again this way. Okay? And then I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to start at the folded edge. So here's my folded edge. Here's my open edge. Here's my folded edge. I'm going to start at my folded edge and I'm going to cut in to this mark. Okay? I'm just going to cut right on the score mark, right on the folded mark, and I'm going to cut right to that score mark. Okay? Then when you open it up, this is what you have. Okay? So here's where it gets interesting. You're going to then fold it in half the long way and you're going to take and put it up like this and you bring it together like this okay set all your creases and then this is what you have left when I make mine I prefer to cut this piece here in half or not in half I just like to cut this piece right here to create my front cover and my back cover you can just fold it like this. Please excuse my dogs. The neighbors are home and they feel the need to let us know that. Sophie, Elsa, stop. Okay. So then, now this is what we have, okay? All I've done is I've done this and pushed it together like that. And then I'm going to take and I'm just going to cut this part right here. But like I said, you can just fold this part over. You don't need to cut that. Um, most people, when they make theirs, they don't cut that part. They just fold it over to the other side. But I like to give it a front and a back. That's how I do mine. Okay, so now we have a front cover. And then we have a page here, a page here, here, and a back cover. Okay, so this is where you can get creative if you want to. 
what I did is this one page right here in the middle that create that created a pocket in my book. I used all I did is use some washi tape and put it together here so that I had the pocket. The rest of them, if you want to, you could have a pocket here. It would be open in the front like this. So you would use some washi tape and seal the bottom, or you could even use some glue and seal the bottom. I would use washi tape because then you'd have the full length of the pocket, but you would have a pocket here if you want to. I am going to choose to only have the one pocket that I had the last time. So I would put my adhesive on here just like that. Then I'm going to bring this piece down and attach them and that creates a page. Okay, and then I'm going to skip this one and then I'm going to come to this one. I'm going to lift this one up and I'm going to put my adhesive on there again, bring it down. And now I have a cover, a page, a page, a page, and a back cover. Okay, it's still open on the back because I have not, if you don't want to have this pocket, then all you have to do is put some adhesive on here and you can seal this too. And then you would have no pocket. If you want to keep the pocket, then all you have to do is grab some washi tape. At least this is how I did it. And I did it after I put a little bit of pattern paper on the cover. You can see I put some pattern paper on and then I took some washi. I used some kind of thick, thicker washi and I just line it up on the edge. And then all I'm going to do is fold my book all the way over. Then I'm just going to remove this bit of washi, just like so. This one too. And there we go. So now we have an actual book, a page here, a pocket here. And I would also, you have to put some washi on the bottom to close in the pocket and then a pocket, a page here and a pocket here. Now, if you put pattern paper on these two pages, you can sturdy them up because the rest of them are all double sided. They're all going to have double length, double thickness of paper. So your covers are going to be a little bit thinner if you haven't put pattern paper on them, but you don't really have to. I mean, you can do it however, but anyways, there's your book and we have a little cover there for this one. All I did was create a belly band because it does tend to pop open because I did put a lot in here. I have an envelope here. I have, um, here's my pocket page and you can see I put the washi on the bottom there and then I have a flap here and I have pattern paper and this is made from craft paper, which is craft cardstock, which is a lot thicker than even just this colored paper. So it was a little bit sturdier. So I had to put something on it to keep it closed. Anyways, that's how you make the eight and a half by 11. Okay. Let's make the 12 really quick. So it's going to be made in much the same way. You're going to take your 12 by 12 piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half. And this one doesn't matter as much because it's 12 by 12, so it's square. So just pick a side and fold it in half. Okay. Then you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it in half again. Again, make sure your creases are very creased. Okay, now this is the part where you need to pay attention to how you want. If you have a pattern of paper and your pattern is directional, you want to have it going up right now, okay? So I want my pattern going like this, up and down like this. So now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna fold it in to the center. Okay, just like that. There we go. It's folded into the center. 
Now I'm going to turn this one and I'm going to fold this into the center as well. Okay. Open it back up and I'm going to get a nice sturdy crease. Now I'm going to, I open it all back up. I'm going to fold it here. Oh, that's not right. I'm going to fold it this way. I'm just going to fold it in half like this. So here's my fold in the center. I'm going to fold it going this way, and then I'm going to do the same thing I did on the last one. I'm just going to cut on this fold right up to the next folded mark. Okay. Then I'm going to open it up and fold this down. So here is my opening. Okay. I'm going to bring those together, just kind of squish them together. And then I'm going to make my creases really tight. And now here again, you have the option of you can just fold this around if you want to and make it another page. Or you can, again, do what I like to do. Elsa, stop. Elsa, don't start. You're going to get them all going. Oh, puppies. Okay, I'm just going to use my trimmer because this is a little bit longer. Oh, and that didn't work at all. So I wanted a nice straight trim, but I must need to change the blade on my trimmer. Okay. Now, I've cut that, and I'm going to fold these two over. This may help you see a little bit easier what we're going to seal as well. So I folded those front and back over. That's my front and back cover. I'm just going to adhere. I'm just going to make sure I have nice firm fold, firm creases. Okay. Then when I open it up, whoops, give me one second here. Okay. So my front cover, the inside, another page, another page, another page, and then my back cover. Obviously I would cover these with pattern paper too to make them match. Okay. Now here's where you can decide do you want this, so this is the first page here. These are connected like this. Do you want to just put some washi tape and have a pocket here? Or do you want to seal it? Again, I'm going to seal it. So all I'm going to do is take and fold that up. Just like that. What? Give me a second. I'm just going to fold this up and then put the adhesive on it and fold it down. Just like so. Okay. And then you can see now it is attached. I'm going to skip this page because this is the page where it would attach in the back. Okay, and I'm going to be on this page now, so I'm just going to fold it up, run some adhesive along there. Now, you would do a little more adhesive, but I don't plan on using this book. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes so that you can see it. Now, we have uh, closed, all the pages are closed except for that one. Okay, so again, you're going to just take some washi tape. This is just some cheap washi tape I got from Target today. Just happened to be on my desk. I'm just going to rip a length of it, fold my book down, and then stick it on there. And then fold my book over, just like so. And then I just remove the book there, the washi tape extra from the top and bottom of my book. And now I have a pocket in the middle of my book. Again, you'd have to apply your washi tape to the bottom to so keep it sealed. 
but you have a pocket. Okay, so you have a lot of options with this book too. You can have lots and lots of pockets if you want to too. Anyways, here is how you can make this book. So now, and because I showed you the two different ways, essentially you can make this with any size piece of paper. Um, say you have um, a different size, a six by six piece of paper that you want to use. You could do it just the same. It would be a lot smaller, probably about half the size of this one. So it'd be, you know, kind of square, but that's okay. It would still look cool. Um, and you know how to make it. So you know how to make a 12 by 12 and an eight and a half by 11. And now you can make it out of anything. It's the same folds, one half, one way, and then half and then into the middle and into the middle and it's a book so if you have any questions feel free to email me i hope i've inspired you to create something and i hope you enjoy my i hope you are enjoying my simple project holiday series bye bye now